hello friends welcome back to our channel so today's session we will discuss about one more property in uh, cascading style sheets that is opacity so opacity means applying the transparency level so this opacity value will be in between 0 0.02 0. Point, sorry 1.0 so in between 0 and 1 the opacity value will be there that means a percentages from 0% to 100% so here 0 0.1 gives a 10% opacity and 0 0.2 gives a 20% opacity and like that the 1.0 will give the 100% opacity and this property can be applied this property can be applied on every element in HTML right now we'll see the execution I'll write a small code let us take the basic tags first I'll write the basic tags so HTML inside the HTML head and inside the head we need to write the style and uh, after the head we need to write down the body first we'll apply this opacity on the images so i'll insert one image and i will demonstrate about this opacity so in order to insert the image we are having the image tag img src is equal to and on the desktop already i am having some flowers.jpg file and i'm just copying the path here and now i'll save this as opacity.html on desktop so you can find the icon on desktop opacity.html just click on that so yes so we got uh, double quotations quotations wrong yes now you can observe there is a image and now you can apply some sort of transparency level to this particular image so for that i'll go with the style tag inside the style we need to give the opacity property now i want to apply the transparency level for the image which we have inserted in the body tag so the image tag img so i am just giving the opacity i am using some element selector img so opacity so 0 0.1 let us check uh, how much transparency level it is so you can see it's around 10 percent transparency level very light and if you change this value to 0.5 you can observe there will be a 50 percent transparency so in this way we can apply the transparency level to each and every element in the HTML, not only the images so also for the text we can apply the opacity so this is an example for applying the opacity for the images now we'll see the text so i'll use some uh, division tag i'll use some id is equal to txt so we can apply the, all the styles for this txt so i'll write a welcome to web technologies so closing the uh, division tag and now i am again taking the id selector so if you are using some id selector it should be started with hash symbol so hash txt and here i'll give the font size i'll change the size of the font to some 70 pixel and let us check before applying the opacity yes and also we can apply the font weight font font weight it's a bold and now you can apply yes font weight bold now you can apply the opacity for this particular font also so opacity and give the font opacity value in between 0 0.02 to 1.0 i'll give 0 0.4 and you can observe the difference so the opacity has been applied to this particular font that means the transparency level has been applied to this particular font so we can apply the opacity for the text as well as the image so let us take one more example so there is a one more selector called a h over 
so we can apply the h over also so uh, for that i'll insert the image and i will demonstrate image src yes so i'll take the image element selector first let us check whether image has been inserted yes image is inserted so opacity is 0.4 right or 0.3 so you can observe the 30 percent of the opacity has been applied right now i'll show image colon h over right image colon h over you can observe normally the image will be displayed in its original transparency level and whenever the move the mouse has been moved towards the image then this h over selector will be uh, applied so that the opacity will be changed to point three. now you can see the mouse pointer is away from the image so the image was displayed in a proper way and whenever i am trying to move this mouse towards the image the opacity level has been changed to 0.3 you can observe i am changing the my mouse position okay i am moving the mouse position towards the image the opacity level has been changed so this is the property h over h over selector for opacity image for image tag okay so you can also apply for the uh, different uh, level c i will give opacity as 0.3 right so i will go with a 0.4 and h over i will give it as a 1.0 now you can uh, observe by default it was with a 40 percent transparency whenever i am trying to move my mouse pointer towards the image the opacity level changes to 1.0 that means a hundred percent so i'm trying to move my mouse towards the image you can observe the opacity or the transparent transparency level has been changed to 100 percent right so this this is the opacity property and also we can apply the box models that means you can apply the border and background colors you can apply so we'll take a division division id is equal to some demo and uh, here we can write some text i'll write web technologies i'll take a division and now we'll see the id selector so hash demo and give the border border with some three pixel solid and you can observe see this is a thing and now we can also change the font font size we will increase the font size so that you can observe font size uh, some 40 pixel and background color we can apply the background color background color so green you can observe here the background color is green and uh, border is there padding 20 pixel see 20 pixel padding and now you can apply the opacity here so it will change the transparency level so 0.4 pixel for closer 0.4 value so the background color the green color transparency level has been changed to 40 percent right so in this way we can apply the opacity to change the transparency levels from zero percent to one percent a low to high right so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, opacity property in css feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session Share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.